Hey everyone, Shadow Speed here, and today uh, I'm going to be playing Back to the Future on the NES. Um, I actually always kind of really enjoyed the game as a kid, although arguably it is not that great of a game. Uh, I feel a lot of people probably give it more uh, flack and say it's not that good of a game. Uh, more than it really deserves. Uh, so let's kind of get into it here. One thing is I never got real far in this game. Because I just find that it's like super cheap difficulty. So pretty much it's just a, like a platformer where you Get to the end. And you have to get to the end of the, of the level before uh, you run out of time. Um, believe it or not, the uh, watches here don't actually give you more time per se. Uh, it's more of a score. Uh, it sucks. So there are some power-ups, um, you saw me get the bowling ball there, uh, it allows you to shoot a bowling ball, help take out enemies, um, there's the bowling ball, kill it, dang it, oh I didn't jump, and then there's also a skateboard which makes you go faster, and I might not even get past, the oh no I'm here. Anyways, there's also a skateboard which makes you walk faster. Uh, so that's a plus as well. Also, um, beyond that time limit I talked to you about, uh, you also have at the very bottom middle. What? Wait, that was baloney. Uh, you have. Is your friends and they start fading. And the more they fade, the uh, less time you have to get to the end as well. And the way to make them not fade as much is to grab these stopwatches here. Oh, uh -oh what? Big on me. Blame. That part can be really difficult with all the bees that come after you. Actually, not bad here. I think the head. Oh, he's right here, yeah. I'm actually really good at this part, um, mainly because um, I've done a lot, and I'll show you why later on in the game. This part can be kind of difficult because uh, you have a long distance to go here. Oops. And you really need the skateboard on this part. So, as you can see, the skateboard you go much faster. Let's keep going faster on this one. You will run out of time quite easily on that one. I had the skateboard the whole time, so I kind of got the max time on that. This next one's also very much, uh, you have to go fast. I'm actually doing surprisingly well because I haven't played this in a long time. Oh, oh no. That was unfortunate. Might be too fancy there. So if it hasn't got on your nerves yet, um, this is the only music in the game. So you'll be hearing it a lot. So in order to get the skateboard first, you have to have the bowling ball, which is actually quite helpful. Oh, 
Also, if you jump at the end, you get bonus points. This is always the part that I always struggled with the most. A or B? Uh, B was this special. Darn it. So you have to line up your shots here. I'm definitely not going to do it. And I think you have to hit a hundred of them. So trying to line up your shots on that is difficult, and I can get that far. So you have to get to 100, but as you start hitting like 50 to 75, it starts to turn. If you missed one of them, you won't have enough time to shoot the next one. So if you miss it by a little bit and you miss, it's an instant lose pretty much, and you have to go and do the last level over again. stopwatches I think so don't have to worry about them too much. It's more about time I think. More concerned about. Okay I got I got 28 that time. So we'll do this level again. On this side, the bees will actually fly off the screen and just despawn. So this is why a lot of people just don't like the game. Uh, the music is very repetitive, and the gameplay also repetitive.
let's try doing this again. Now you can push B and it will kill everyone on the screen. I try to save that for at least 50 to 75. That way when you inevitably miss one of these throws. Oh, what? I can, for some reason, attack. level again. And it's game over. Back to the title screen. So that's why I never really got any really far. I think I'll only ever beat that once, and I did it with my last life. And I think and essentially the next thing, it's just essentially the kind of same sort of levels over again, you know, same kind of enemies, just a little bit of a different kind of color font to it, and a little bit harder. But I think even with one life, I got all the way through to the end. And it was some sort of music thing, I, I don't know what to do for it. I, I, it was the first time I got to it and I failed it. I don't know how good I really did on it. Um, but it's just kind of the same thing over and over again. Like I said, the, the actual level design was pretty good. Like, it, it is still enjoyable to play through like those first four levels. It's just that first kind of boss level is pretty much next to impossible, it feels like. Uh, it's really unforgiving, and like I said, most of my time I spent playing that that kind of minigame boss thing, and I only ever beat it once. It's real difficult to kind of gauge where the enemies are and trying to do it that way, so yeah. That's Back to the Future, everyone. Um, I guess I'll leave you guys here. Uh, if you want to check out some more videos, there's some on screen right now if you want to check them out or subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you haven't viewed the video yet because of the music, you, uh, 
So like I said, it's the same music it just kind of plays over and over and over again. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.